Hi. I guess it's this afternoon, not this morning. Uh, sorry about the delay. There were some problems, but anyway, here we are. So the last piece of the Imago Dialogue, the safe conversation process, is the idea of empathy. Getting in touch with the feelings of the sender. So the uh, mirroring, you want to make sure you get the what, and then the uh, validation that makes sense, that that's how you see it. I don't have to agree with you, but that's how you see it. And the empathy is how you might be feeling. So empathy is a communication to another person that you hear and understand his or her feelings and that they make sense. It really is a guess. You know, uh, I might say, well, you, you seem angry. And my partner might say, well, no, I, was, I wasn't angry so much as I was, tar- um, I was frustrated or disappointed or sad or whatever. Anyway, uh, I mean, sometimes the sender tells you, you know, I feel frustrated, I'm angry at this or that. Other times it's a guess at what's going on sort of uh, between the lines, so to speak. It's an attempt to walk a mile in the other person's shoes. So <clears throat> Harvard and Helen say the most a receiver can do as far as expressing accurate empathy is to A, listen and mirror carefully and thoroughly. B, try to tune into the emotions the partner is expressing, whether verbally or non-verbally. And C, and check with the senator to see if the empathy statement was correct. You know, you look, you're feeling angry. Is that, is that right? You check it out. At bottom, empathy's, empathy's aims are the same as those for the entire Imago dialogue, the safe conversation process. These goals are both uncommon and profound. Every step, mirroring, validation, and empathy, offers both sender and receiver a golden opportunity for something that cannot be bought with money. For the listener, differentiation and connecting, and for the sender, connecting and differentiation. And the authors are quite adamant that a couple must differentiate before they can truly connect. You know, in the romantic love stage of relationship, you know, people will, will say, like, oh, you're just like me, or we like the same things, or, um, uh, <laughs> we are the same, we're so good for each other, all, all those kind of statements. And <clears throat> the fancy psychological term for this is, is symbiosis, a term more commonly associated with a mother and a newborn child. And, and the term really comes from biology. Webster's Dictionary defines it. The living together of two dissimilar organisms in close association or union, especially where this is advantageous to both. Now, the way it shows up in the office, this is, this is how I see it anyway, is that sometimes two people say, well, they, I can't live without you. You know, I need you. And I say, look, it, I can ex- li- exist very well without my partner. <clears throat> she can live very well without me. But we've chosen to go in the same direction together. It's not that we need each other in order to survive, but we're two strong people who have chosen to go in the same direction together. And any, <laughs> for those of you who know us, you, you won't find two people more different than my wife and I. But somehow, um, the Imago system has helped us figure out how to go in the same direction together. It's great. All right. So Harville and Helen are saying that the Imago dialogue process gives couples the opportunity to recognize and celebrate that they are different but connected. As they say, it's a golden opportunity to both differentiate and connect. And for me, the safe conversation process uh, ensures safety, which for me is the overarching principle in a conscious relationship. So again, as I've said many times, for me, if you want a great relationship, it has to be safe. 500 million years. You're not going to change that. And you have to protect the space between. You cannot keep putting negativity into the space between because the negativity causes disconnect and what you want is connect. And, and, you know, negativity is to a relationship like cancer is to the body. It'll kill it. And lastly, a couple has to learn to talk to each other in a safe way. And and the safe conversation process, the Imago dialogue process, gives a couple a safe way to talk to each other. It's a way of talking without criticizing, listening without judging, and connecting through your differences. Okay, so there you have it. See you next week. And I think we're going to look at, um, it's it's sort of aimed at me or at other therapists, but uh, uh, I'll explore uh, the next chapter, chapter 10. All right, have a great week.